Hello everyone! Today I'm really excited to show you how to make these cute Christmas canvases. They look darling hanging on a wall or really cute on a mantle. It's a great way to decorate for Christmas. It's really easy. I'm excited to show you, so let's get started. Okay, so what you're going to need for this project is a canvas. And the canvas that I used was a 16 by 20. And you're going to need some Mod Podge and some glitter. And I got this big container of glitter just because you are going to be dumping so much glitter on this at one time that it's nice to just have extra so you can dump it all on there and you don't have to worry about running out and having your Mod Podge dry in between. So I recommend getting a big container and you're not going to use very much of it. So it will last a long time. I also used a paintbrush and a sponge brush. And of course, you're going to need to cut out this reindeer head silhouette. So what I did was just Google the reindeer head silhouette, and you can choose from a bunch of different ones, so just choose the one that you like the best. Print it off, cut it out, and then just trace it right onto your canvas. And I did that. To hold my reindeer head in place, I just put a little bit of tape on the back, and some up here on the antlers, just to hold that in place while I traced it. And just take that off. And I promised my kids that I would save this for them so that they could decorate this little reindeer head. So I'm sure we'll be doing that tonight. So I have my reindeer head silhouette traced on there. I'm just going to start by um, outlining this with Mod Podge and then I'll fill the rest in. So I'm just going to start by outlining my reindeer. And I like to go just kind of on that pencil line just a little bit so that that gets completely covered by the glitter. Okay, so once you have that all outlined, I'm just gonna take my sponge brush and fill that in. So up through these antlers, they're a little bit smaller, so I used my paintbrush a lot for those. And I noticed when I dumped the glitter on, you could see some of those brush strokes. So I recommend using your sponge brush to just gently soften those any of those harsh lines so that that glitter lays flat. Okay, so once your reindeer head is completely covered in Mod Podge, we're going to take our glitter and what I really love about this project is that you can use any color of glitter that you want. So you can make this canvas art match any decor that you have going on for Christmas time or for any holiday that you're celebrating. So I'm going to be using silver for this one. And like I said before, we're just going to dump it on there. You want as much glitter to stick as possible. So I just dumped it on there, more than I needed. I put a piece of paper under my canvas so that when this was done drying, I could just shake it off right onto that piece of paper and then carefully dump it back into the container. You don't want to waste all this glitter and it's really easy just to funnel that back into the container. Okay, so once you have it completely covered with glitter, I recommend letting it dry overnight if possible, or at least for a few hours so all of that glitter can stick really, really good. And then I recommend going over it once it's completely dry again with Mod Podge and dumping more glitter on it. And I really think that it looks the very best with three coats of glitter. So whatever you think, it's totally up to you, but I think that that looks the best. So I'm going to let this dry overnight and I will show you my other finished reindeer head. Okay, so once your Mod Podge is dried, just dust the glitter off and I just give it a little shake. I also went around it with a sponge brush and just dusted off any extra glitter. And you'll probably have a little bit of glitter fall off for the next couple days. So to prevent that from happening, just put another coat of just Mod Podge over it. Or you can also spray it with hairspray. So whatever you would rather do, just to kind of get that glitter to stick a little bit better. And the color I used for this one was Champagne. So beautiful. So that is it for our reindeer head silhouette canvas. Let's move on to the next one. 
Okay, so my next canvas art I like to call Merry and Bright. And if you guys love Pinterest, you may have seen this on there all over the place. I was inspired by this from the lovely cupboard. You can check her blog link down below. And what you're going to need again is a canvas. And again, I used a 16 by 20. And you're going to need some vinyl words cut out that say Merry and Bright. And I did the Merry and in silver and the Bright in gold. I also wanted to add some little twinkle stars. So I had those printed off as well. If you don't have access to vinyl and you can't find anywhere to order it, you can also just write Merry and Bright on the canvas. And I think it would be darling, just like we did with the deer head, cover up those words with Mod Podge and just dump glitter on them. Then they'll be really sparkly and glittery and I think it will look so cute. We're going to be poking some holes in our canvas for some lights to come through. And I just used a little knife. If you have a screwdriver or anything else that you think is better to poke little holes in there, go ahead and use that, but this worked really good. And of course, some lights. These are just mini lights. And I used about 150 lights, just to let you guys know. And I got the ones with the white back, just so that the green didn't show through. So they're just the clear mini lights. So to get started, we're going to measure our canvas. And it is 20 inches long, so we're gonna go right in the middle at 10 inches. And we're going to put our and right there in the middle. So if you have vinyl, just peel that off. So if you haven't used vinyl a lot, a great thing to know is that you're going to have to make sure to put a lot of pressure on these letters to get them to stick. So I recommend using a card or a debit card if you don't have anything else in this shape. You could also use a spatula or anything else. But you're just going to want to make sure to really get that on there good. Okay, once that is on there really good, we're going to grab our bright and just try to get the same di distance between the merry and and the and and the bright. Okay, once you feel like that's pretty secure on the canvas, you can start to peel it off. And if you're lucky, the vinyl will just stick right to the canvas. If you're not, then just kind of try to help it out. Try to just keep it in the place where it was. Okay, and like I mentioned before, if you're having a hard time with your vinyl sticking, just grab some Mod Podge and go over that. And just be sure to hold your vinyl down if it's really having a hard time sticking to that canvas. And you want to get that layer as thin as possible and try not to get any bubbles on. I also added these little twinkling stars, and you can just place them wherever you would like. I just place those right there in the corners. Okay, so I'm just going to continue to cover up all the vinyl on the canvas, and then we will start poking in those holes for the lights. Okay, once our vinyl lettering is on, we're going to start poking the holes to add the lights to our canvas, and I'm going to bundle those up here in the top, in the, this top corner and in this bottom corner. So just opposite of where we put our little twinkling stars. And what I did to poke those holes was I took my knife and I turned this around so that you don't poke any holes into this wood because you can't poke a light through there. And I just started to create a triangle just by poking a hole. And you wanna give it a little distance, but as close as you can get. And then just wiggle a little hole in there. You don't want to go straight in and saw this way because then that will create a slit. You want to poke it in there and then just twist it. Be really careful with your hand here in the back. And when I did this I didn't really have a pattern that I followed so I just 
and did a few and then I went the other way. Just kind of look at it, see what you think. Um, once you start adding more holes, you can kind of tell where you need to put more holes. So I'm gonna start going down here. Okay, and then we're going to start filling in that triangle shape. So I'm just gonna go down from this top hole, just right there. And then just kind of follow this. I kind of, I put a little hole like right in between these other holes up top. But you can do it however you want. When the lights are on, you can't really tell, so. It's whatever you would like. And I kind of want this triangle to go a little bit farther on top and on bottom, so I'm not gonna go all the way to that corner. Just moving down. And we're just gonna continue to poke these holes in here. creating a triangle shape. And then once you have that triangle shape created here in the corners, kind of framing the lettering, I think it's fun to add some little stray lights across here so you can just poke random holes so that you kind of have a cluster here in the corner and then you just have sporadic little lights throughout it. So once you have all of your holes poked, I took my knife and went through the front to kind of tuck all that in and made those a little bit bigger because those Christmas lights are bigger. So you want to make sure that they can slide in there easily but not too big that they fall out. So it's kind of a, just a tight fit. Okay, so once you're done poking all of the holes, we're going to add the lights. And I recommend putting this plug up in the corner and using the lights next to it to poke through these sporadic little holes here. Just so that when we get to the end over here, this plug can plug into the other lights so that it's just continuing on down and then you're gonna have some sporadic lights down through the bottom. Okay, so when you poke your lights through, you're just going to take them and just gently work them through that hole. And when I first thought of doing this, I thought that they would just poke through there and they would stay put, but they don't. So don't get frustrated. It's gonna kind of look messy and the lights want to like stick up and over and all over the place. And it looks kind of funny when they're not on, but it looks so great when you turn them on. So don't stress about that. It stressed me out for a minute and I just kept doing it. So. Don't let that stress you out. I'm just gonna continue poking those through there. Okay, so another thing that I found that helped was, do, was putting the lights in in rows. So we're going to poke the lights in through this top line and then down the side and then back up and over. So we're gonna move in that pattern throughout the triangle and I just felt like the light stayed in a little bit better. I didn't have as many wires all over the place, so I really recommend doing that. If you find a way that works better for you, go ahead and do it that way too. You just end up with so many wires. Like back here is gonna look super messy. Another thing that I did that helped was I would grab some of the wires and tape them together so that as I kept adding the wires, it wasn't pulling other lights out. Okay, so I just finished poking all of those lights through. And as you're poking them through, you might notice that some of them try to hide. So just pull them out and try to keep them where they're supposed to be. The lights are gonna shine bright, so when you plug it in, you're going to still be able to see that. Um, one thing I wanted to mention is the back is a little bit messy. So if you're going to wanna hang this on a wall, you will want to keep that in mind. I'm just putting mine on a mantle. It looks perfect. You can't tell that there's all these wires in the back. I would love to show you, so let's take a look. All right, you guys, I hope that you were able to follow along with me and you enjoyed these two fun canvases. Hope you all have a very Merry Christmas. Happy holidays to everyone. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.